you want a million pounds in the lottery, it'd still be like, nice for you to come downstairs, quick for you to appreciate it. Yeah. Joe, Joe Dean won't know anything. Mention diving to East Stirling director Tony Ford, and he probably won't be thinking of in the penalty box. But while the former submarine commander spent most of his working life underwater, he's now more concerned about keeping his current command afloat. The club has not had it easy recently. Issues with their first park home has forced them to ground share with Stenhouse Muir, but their fans have been reluctant to make the move. But Tony is hoping his military colleagues past and present can help the Shire turn the tide. The club is the first in the country to offer free entry to any serving or former Navy, Army or Air Force personnel. I left the armed services myself in February from the Navy. Um, it's something I've always thought would be nice to do. Um, I'm stuck with the football club as a director as well. We're obviously struggling a wee bit at the wrong end of the league. Uh, we need as much help as we can, so it'd be nice to get a bit of more vocal support on the terraces. And it's a chance for us to offer something back to, to the, the people who basically, basically have served and are still serving in the armed forces. The initiative has been enthusiastically welcomed by the services. Yeah, I think it's a, a great idea and I think um, uh, more clubs should get involved with it, definitely. Fantastic idea and I'm sure lots of the troops will come down and support the club. As a Rangers fan myself, if I've not gone to Ibrox, I'll probably be along here because it's a good initiative. If you're still serving, show your ID card and in you come and then hopefully you'll have a good day and cheer us on. And if you're, uh, if you're a veteran, obviously you have a veteran's badge, so all you need to do is just show your veteran's badge and again, in you come and hopefully cheer us on to three points on a Saturday. Steering a course out of the highly competitive third division is a tough task. Tony is hoping a few more hands on deck will help navigate the choppy waters ahead.